Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll see how to check whether a entity is exist with a given ID in the database table or not by using exist by ID method. Well, basically exist by ID method is from crude repository interface. Okay, you can see here exist by ID method takes ID as a method argument and exist by ID returns a boolean as a return type. All right. So whenever you have a requirement to check whether a particular entity is exist with a given ID in the database table, then you can go ahead and use exist by ID method. Well, let's head over to the Inkeji idea and let's write a piece of code to see the usage of exist by ID method. Well, let's go to Inkeji idea. Let me minimize this and let's go at the bottom. And here I am going to write a test case. Let's give method name something like exist by id method and let's annotate this method with add test annotation and let's head over to the MySQL page and let's see what is the status of products table. Let me refresh the schemas. Let me select the rows from the products table and you can able to see there are no records in the product table. So first we need to insert a record in the products table, right? So before that, let's execute exist by ID method because we don't have any records. It should return a Boolean false value, right? So let's see how it works. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna declare ID here. I'm going to give ID as a one. So if you can see, we don't have any record with ID one in the database table, right? Even though we don't have a record in the database table with the given ID one, we are, you know, passing this ID to the exist by ID method, right? It should return then false. Let's see how it returns. Declare a Boolean here, Boolean value. And then let's call a product repository. And then it has exist by ID method. And look at here, exist by ID method takes ID of type long and it returns a Boolean as a return type. So let's go and let's call this exist by ID method over here and just pass ID. Okay. Well, if you can again go back to MySQL Workbench, you can see there is no records in the database table with the given ID one. So let's see what this exist by ID method returns with the, you know, ID as a one. So let me put one says out over here and just print the result. All right. Now let's run the JNA test case and let's see how this method works and how Hibernate will create the SQL statement behind the scene. And there we go. Test passed and let's see the output of the JNA test case. And you can able to see here false. So Boolean value false because the entity with the given ID one is not existing in the database table. That's why exist by ID method returns, you know, Boolean value false, right? And look at here the SQL statement. Well, Hibernate basically, you know, create this SQL statement behind the scene for exist by D method. All right. So select count star from, you know, products table. And this column underscore zero underscore zero underscore is the alias for, you know, this count. All right. And if count is zero, then obviously this method returns Boolean as a false. If count is greater than zero, then this Boolean value should be true, right? So let's go and let's insert one record and let's see how this exist by ID method returns, you know, result as a true. So let me quickly, you know, insert one record by using this save method JUnit test case. Let me run the JUnit test case. So this will basically insert one product entity into the database table. All right, test passed and let's head over to the MySQL workbench and let's select rows from the products table and you can able to see product one is inserted in the products table. Now, again, let's run the JNA test case, which has the logic to test exist by ID method, right? Now you can see the ID in the database table seven. So let's pass seven here. Okay, so basically we are checking whether the entity 
with id 7 is exist in the database or not by using this exist by id method right so let's run the JUnit unit test case and let's see how this works and how hibernate will create a sql statement behind the scene and there we go test pass line let's see the output and you can able to see boolean value true because the entity with you know given id 7 is exist in the database table all right so whenever you have a requirement to check if the entity with a given id is exist in a database or not you can simply use exist by d method all right great i will see you in the next lecture